So my story starts with this camera right here. I first saw this when I was 13 years old. It was in the window of a camera shop and I saved up all of my money to buy it from my part-time job. And ever since then, I've been taking pictures. My dad's driven by photography, always going on photography trips. I love taking landscape photos and for my entire adult life, I've been taking landscape photos. My dad is driven by photography. <laughs> Moraine Lake is the gem of Canada. My dad's always talked about it as being one of the most beautiful places on earth. It's like every landscape photographer's dream photo. I've been to the Rockies a couple times, but I've actually never been to Moraine Lake. It's the most beautiful place in the whole world. And the photo that I have always wanted is Moraine Lake under a fresh snowfall with blue sky as the sun comes up and hits the top of the distant peaks. So it's early October, there's going to be this early season snowfall. There's going to be a huge blizzard in the Canadian Rockies tomorrow. An incredibly rare weather event is about to happen and I am not going to miss it. And then the following day, the skies are going to completely clear. It's going to be sunny and this presents the most perfect opportunity to get that photo I've always wanted of Moraine Lake with a fresh blanket of snow on it, but really only happens maybe once every few years, but it's happening now. I want the photo. So I'm going to drive all day tomorrow. We're going to get there just in time for the weather to clear. We are not going to miss it. We're going to get some awesome photos. Let's go. So typical my daddy's going on another photography trip and he actually asked me if I wanted to come. I'm, I'm so busy in this time of my life. I am managing at a top tier restaurant full time. I'm also in school getting my master's degree. I just, I don't have time to do anything it feels like. Remarkably, he has said yes. To my absolute surprise, my professor actually encouraged me to go on this trip. What this involves, it's a 12 hour drive to get there and we are going to drive for the 12 hours, have the one day at Moraine Lake and then drive 12 hours home. Three days, that's so crazy, like that's so much driving time. And as it turns out, he's going through a real time of transition in his life. He has this most difficult, if not impossible decision to make. He wants to leave the security of his job. I wanna start my own online business and be an entrepreneur, but I don't know what that looks like specifically. So it's scary. I don't know what to do. He is looking for any advice that he can get in order to help him make this decision. I feel like if I go on this trip, I can get some clarity on, on what steps I should be taking. At the same time, I can feel that I've been so busy throughout my life with my own job, my own career, my own photography. I wish that I had spent more time with both of my kids and especially with my son, Andrew. I kind of feel like sometimes I'm getting left behind. I think that this trip is going to be an opportunity where we can just have some great father-son time. This trip has the potential of being really good for us. Okay, it's 5.30 in the morning. Not exactly sure what I was thinking, but the weather's looking awesome. It's going to be minus 10 degrees Celsius on Wednesday morning and totally clear skies. So it's gonna be good. So because it's a 12 hour drive, we're leaving at five o'clock in the morning. This is gonna be brutal. 12 hours there, one day at Moraine Lake, then 12 hours back. What on earth was I thinking? I really don't enjoy driving. I used to when I was 16, but I'm no spring chicken anymore. Okay, it's six o'clock in the morning and I've got my awesome son, Andrew, with me holding the camera and we are on our way, hour zero out of hopefully 12. Moraine Lake in the Rockies. Probably the most photographed lake in Canada, I would say. We're driving along and at hour one, we're hitting a huge traffic jam. Traffic isn't moving. Then it's hour two, hour three. I'm starting to get tired. Well, we've been driving for something like three hours. I am kind of wondering what the heck was I thinking? Oh my goodness, I'm getting tired. I slept so little last night. Anyway, time to rock. Time's a wasting. The truck must keep moving. My dad was possessed to get to this place. And thankfully I wasn't driving. I might not be here today if I was. But we keep pushing, we keep pushing. Andrew is sleeping away as he loves to do when he has his downtime. We keep pushing, then it's hour six. 
And the realization that, oh my goodness, we're at hour six and we're only halfway there. We're probably halfway there. We've been driving six and a half hours. My goodness, is this ever a long drive. There is snow all over the roads. Cars are in the ditch. The snow is falling hard. I've got the windshield wipers going fast and it's like dangerous driving conditions. And I'm saying to myself, this shot had better be really worth it because this is somewhat risky in order to go somewhere just to get a photo. We are in the eye of the storm right now and all of this snow that's coming down hopefully is falling at Moraine Lake and hopefully all of this cloud is going to clear overnight so that we're going to have clear skies, sunny skies and an amazing sunrise in the morning. But I just really want that photo. This is a photo that I've sort of dreamed of for my entire adult life and finally this opportunity is happening. I want this to turn out. I really hope it works out. Finally, we're at hour 11.5 and we roll into the little bit of civilization that's about half an hour before Moraine Lake. So we've arrived at the road to Moraine Lake and here's this man telling us that we can't go any further. It's fully closed. And worst of all, they only close it an hour earlier. Are you kidding me? If we had left one hour earlier in the morning, we'd be at Moraine Lake right now. Fail. Utter fail. So Andrew and I are sitting in the camper. We're talking about what we should do. We've come too far to allow the trip to fail. So we're willing to hike uphill three hours first thing in the morning in order to go get this shot. And I'm not the biggest morning person. A sunrise hike, 11 kilometers in the snow to get to a lake to take a photo. It's not really my cup of tea, but it's something I'm willing to do for my dad because he wants this shot. I am feeling like, like this trip is just a failure, uh, that we're not making it. And we talk about the possibility, well, why don't we hike in in the morning? The downside of that is that we won't make it in time for the sunrise but we're going to go for it anyway. So our plan is that we'll arrive first thing in the morning at the roadblock at 5 a.m., talk to whoever is there and see if they're going to let us in. But the trip just can't fail. The next morning comes, oh my goodness, I just felt so beat up, like I had been run over by a train because of that 12 hour drive the previous day. So it's 5 a.m. in the morning, we wake up, we pack a lunch, we pack our backpacks, prepared mentally for the three hour hike. I stopped in front of the roadblock, I get out. There's a new guy standing at the bottom of this road. I'm thinking to myself, this is it. Then I start talking about, hey, can we make it through? If this man does not let us through, we're hiking 11 kilometers, three hours long. It is freezing cold. So I'm just waiting. I don't know what's gonna happen. He said, no, sorry, the road is closed and I don't think it's going to be open for the rest of the season. It was like my worst nightmare. So I started to talk to him about this trip, what it means to my son and I, how far we had come, how important this photo is, what we're trying to achieve. I have a four wheel drive truck, lots of tread on my tires, lots of experience with winter driving. And then like miraculously, the guy says, okay, I'm gonna let you in. He actually lets us pass. And he moved his van out of the way and we drove through and we were the only people who were able to drive through. There were so many RVs and other vehicles who were driving up to the roadblock at the same time and the guy lets us through. It was awesome. We were so excited. It was like totally miraculous. I can't believe that this guy just let us through. We just got through. It's incredible. We're probably gonna be the only people up here at sunrise. I couldn't be happier. We're committed. And we're driving in on the road. It's pitch black. It's still like 5.15 in the morning. The sun is nowhere near rising yet. The road is covered in snow. I'm looking out the window. I see stars, I see the moon. So this means to me, it's going to be like an epic sunrise. The sky is going to be clear. We're getting closer and closer to achieving the goal for this whole trip of getting this shot. And we arrive at the parking lot to the viewpoint at Moraine Lake. There are no cars there. We are the only people there. I'm just like, I need to pinch myself. Is this really happening? How did we just get through this roadblock? It's incredible. Normally there are hundreds of people and you can't even park at the lake. 
So it was insane that we were up there all by ourselves. We start to hike to the viewpoint. The sky is clear, it's still dark. I can hear that sort of crunch, crunch, crunch under the dry powder snow under my feet as we're walking in the direction of the viewpoint. Everything was just working out so perfectly. I couldn't believe it was really happening. We did it, this is it. So we just parked the truck. Uh, sunrise will be in about 45 minutes. There's fresh little crystals of snow falling off the trees. Like if ever this was a, a time when so many things aligned to work out so that we can be here for this morning and this sunrise, this is it. This is like, it feels like it's once in a lifetime to me. It was literally myself and my dad. And then we get to the top where the viewpoint is. And we're standing there, the sun is not up yet. It's just getting light and it's like, wow, this really is going to happen. But then, of course, there's one more barrier to that perfect shot, and it's the wind. It's always the wind. There were ripples on the lake because of the wind, so we couldn't get a perfect reflection shot. This meant a big deal to my dad. And sure enough, the wind comes up and creates a whole series of ripples on the lake, so there's no reflection. And a moraine lake photo depends upon the reflection. After we've come so far and after everything went so well in the morning, how is it that this wind can ruin the shot? So I set up my camera on the tripod. I'm shooting as the sun rises and it's a beautiful sunrise. The sun is just hitting the tops of the mountain, but still that darn wind is causing these ripples on the water and I wasn't getting that perfect moraine lake reflection. I got pretty bummed out thinking that this isn't gonna happen. And my dad was very disappointed because this is the purpose of the trip. He wants this shot. I shot a panorama, a single row pano, a double row pano. I put my dark filter on the lens to try and smooth the water out. Nothing was really working. I wasn't getting the shot. And then it just kind of happened. I looked at the water and I realized, hey, the wind isn't blowing. And hey, the water is smooth. I run over to my camera and I just start snapping photos and it was just like, I don't know, the heavens open. I could hear like angels singing, ah! and I'm getting the shot that I've always dreamed of. It was just one of those moments that everything was coming into alignment just so perfectly. So it happens and my dad is just jumping for joy. And there I was completely alone with my son. I don't know if I've ever seen him happier. At this most incredible, majestic place, like the gem of Canada. I just couldn't believe that this could all happen. I'm so happy with the shot. I love the shot. There were so many things that said we were not gonna be able to make this trip happen. We were wearing our same jackets that day, which is actually pretty funny. Began taking some little selfie shots for fun, just a good bonding moment. And all around, it's been just an unbelievable experience. But really, the transformation that occurred is that the shot is so much less important than the time that I had with Andrew, that we were able to spend this time together and talk through and work through this important life decision that he was making. Just by connecting with my dad over countless hours in the truck, in the camper, taking photos, I decided it's time to take this next step in my life. I've decided I'm going to leave my job. I need to make a change in my life. I need to move on from my current job and start pursuing my dreams and my passions. And Moraine Lake and this opportunity allowed that to happen. That was the most important aspect of this trip. It made it all worthwhile. What It's great that I got that photo that I wanted, but it's even greater that I was able to build the relationship with Andrew. And it was just time that I'll never forget. I'm forever grateful for this trip. And even though it was only three quick days, you'd be amazed at what can happen in such short of time. It was a life changing trip for him and it was a life changing trip for me.
My dad takes this photography stuff very seriously. So if you have not, make sure you subscribe to him and follow along. Yeah, just... <laughs> okay, so I just found a somewhat unique shot of Moraine Lake. Okay, so there's Andrew uh, enjoying the downtime. Just had the best nap of my life. Best nap of his life. Uh.